Hey guys, so it has been a while and um, since I have gotten my set bag and I wanted to do a review on it. Um, cause it's been so good this bag. has been, um, well, first let's get to the, a set bag. Okay. Um, for those of you who don't know what a set bag is, it is a bag which you only take the stuff up that you need to, um, onto set with you to do touch ups. So this is not where you store everything. This is not where you put everything in the kitchen sink into. It is just meant to carry on to a location to touch up the makeup that you've already done. So with that being said, um, you probably used to seeing set bags that are clear and you can see through them. I don't like those. I've had one before. Anytime I've had a clear bag, people feel it is okay to rummage through that even though it is not theirs. And I haven't had a problem with that since I've been using bags that aren't clear. So I wouldn't recommend clear bags. You may like clear bags. It's just a preference thing. Now, when I first got this, I was like, oh boy, is it, is it really going to fit everything I need to it? But it's actually um, quite big. I chose to buy the EMJ company, and they have a website. I'll link it down below. But it is um, the emjcompany.com. And I got the, it's called the Mamba. It's black, and it kind of has snake print. Um, but it's called the Mamba Kit Bag. And these sell for $93.00. Um, and you can find set bags that are cheaper than this. They normally run about $40. It was very, very, very hard to find a bag that was not clear or see-through. So for me, it was it was worth paying the extra money. But you can definitely find a set bag for way cheaper My, than that. This set bag comes with um, long handles, which is nice. Um, I know some people prefer the little handles. I don't, um, just because it's a lot to keep on and carrying. Where's this? These straps are very long. You can put it on your shoulder and forget about it. So that's what I love about the straps. And they're very, very sturdy. This is, um, unlike the other bags that are PVC, see-through stuff, this is fake leather. And it's, these straps are also reinforced with nylon as well. Um, they're very, very sturdy, very, very thick. So the other thing um, that I absolutely loved about this set bag is it zips up. So on the top here, it completely zips up. Um, where most set bags don't, they're completely open. <clears throat> so comes open, the flaps come out. Um, it has an insert for the bottom, like this. And the one thing I absolutely love about this insert, one, you can take it out, but two, most people put cardboard in here. This feels like plexiglass inside of this. It's very, very sturdy. So this goes on the bottom. I just washed it, so. So it's a pretty big bat. All right, that fits more than anything that you need to do touch-ups. The dimensions on this bag itself, width-wise, it's 12 inches. Height-wise, it is 9 inches. And depth-wise, it is 7 inches. This is another thing I like about this bag. Now, on the outside, you'll see it has three pockets right here. Again, these are the regular size pockets that you get on any set bag, and normally they just, these size normally just go all around the bag. By means, these are not small. You can fit a water bottle and stuff like that in there. Um, but I like that it has different sizes. You have a medium size one here. You have a huge large one right here if you need to put paper or something in there. I love that they have different size pockets. On the side here, they have smaller little pockets for Sharpies and pencils and tools and brushes that you need right, you know, right at your uh, fingertips. And then you have a bigger uh, medium size pocket right there. So I do like that. It comes in very handy. It makes it a lot more universal bag than just having um, those types of pockets. On set, at the most, we've been doing 30 people in one day. So I do need a lot to bring with me. 
and it hasn't been a problem. It's carried more than everything I need. Like I so. said, this is made out of a faux leather material. It is faux leather oil cloth, which is really easy to clean. So all you do really is take a baby wipe and wipe it down. Now this has gotten a little bit more love uh, cleaning wise because I've had Prosade on it and mud and if it needs a little bit of love get a um, really gentle detergent dish detergent and a little washcloth and it wipes right so off. So it's really really easy to clean. This has gone through a lot. This has been in mud puddles. This has been in mud. This has been in sand. This has been in the middle of the woods. Um, this has been in abandoned buildings on the floor. So you do need a set bag that you can set it down in those settings anywhere and it will be okay. So this is a good, sturdy, easy to clean so, bag. Now, this has been a great bag. I haven't seen many reviews for it. That's why I wanted to do this because it's a really good bag. Um, it's very sturdy. It's made well. It's held up and it still looks good. Um, so, and that's really what you want in a set bag. You don't want a, a cloth one, but you, you need a sturdy one. So I would definitely buy from this company again. It did take a little bit to get here, but again, it was coming from England. And keep in mind when you buy from overseas, you do have to pay a custom fee for any goods to enter into a different country, just so everyone knows and is aware. But I do like it. Really, really nice bag. Um, I can't say I can't say it enough how nice of a bag this is. So if you are looking for a set bag, I do know this is a little more pricier. You can find set, set bags out there for $40. Again, I don't like the clear ones. It just didn't work out for me. Um, but I wanted a nice bag that looked professional that wasn't see-through. And that was really, really hard to find anywhere. Most places, it's just a clear bag and that's it. So it's nice to have. And they all have all different ones. They have, I'll leave their link down below, but they have a lime green one. They have this black mamba one. They have a black and white polka dot one. They have a leopard print one. They have um, like a, oh... What's that design? Paisley design thingy, a zebra print. I think they even have a pink one, but they have a lot of good colors. Um, and these are really, really nicely it's made, made so. very well. And it is very well put together. So, um, and, and with that, a bag will last you a while. So I hope this has helped. And I hope even if you're looking for a set bag that I gave you some information that might help. So if you guys so, have any questions on uh, set bags or this bag in particular, um, just leave a comment and I will get back to you um, as soon as I can. Also, I will leave information down in the description box, bar, whatever, um, where to get some set bags where to get but this, this is set a, bag. a great bag and a good company and I, I definitely in the future will be purchasing more from the company so i hope that helps Until i will talk to you guys time. later I, I hope you all are doing well wherever you are in the world bye